Hey everybody, this is Jen. Welcome to my channel. Today in this short video, we're going to be discussing a very important topic. We're going to be discussing non-transplantable seedlings. So if you're interested in what I'm talking about, and if there's any such thing as non-transplantable seedlings, stick with me right here on Garden Jen's Journey. Okay, so maybe you've been following me along on my channel and you know about winter sowing and everything I've been discussing lately, or maybe you're brand new to this video and you have no idea what winter sowing is or what I'm going to be talking about on this video. I will link up above uh, my winter sowing video and I will also link above my winter sewing video playlist so you can watch at your convenience and get familiarized with the winter sewing concept. Winter sewing in a nutshell is uh, taking uh, plastic containers like milk jugs, juice jugs, things like that and using them as mini greenhouses to plant seeds in and set them outdoors to grow seedlings that you will then transplant later on into your garden. So that's winter sowing in a nutshell. Again, I recommend watching the, the video of how to, which is an in-depth video of how to winter sow, as well as the rest of the playlist. So you kind of get familiarized with the winter sowing concept. Now, one of the questions that I've had asked a couple times, and so I'm doing a video on is, not my noisy rooster, but Jen, what about uh, seedlings that you can't transplant? In the gardening community, there's lots of plants that you supposedly cannot transplant. They don't transplant well. And so when it comes to winter sowing, people are afraid to grow them in their jugs because they won't transplant. Let me tell you from experience, and I've been doing this over six years, not with the noisy rooster, but I've been doing this over six years and every single plant that I have planted in my jugs has transplanted just fine. If I can find some pictures, I will put them at the end of the video. So make sure that you watch this till the end uh, to see if I get some pictures to show you what I'm talking about. Um, to back up what I'm telling you today. For winter sowing, you can uh, plant and transplant just about anything. That includes uh, your cucumbers, that includes corn, that includes your root crops like beets and turnips, rutabagas, carrots. Uh, that includes sunflowers. Um, there's some different flowers that they say that you can't transplant because they'll get the roots too much of a shock. Um, I can't think of other plants right off the top of my list that are non-transplantable, but every single uh, vegetable that I have grown in my jugs has been transplantable just fine. So don't worry about not being able to transplant. The key to transplanting anything is when it's time to transplant that you make sure that your soil is nice and moist that way you can get it out of the jug and then you can break apart um, the root ball into sections if you have multiple plants and you can transplant it into the ground with the soil already moistened and with less transplant shock that is the best way to make sure that your transplantings are a success now again I've transplanted corn and I've transplanted carrots and the easiest way to do those to reduce the risk of transplant shock is what we call clump planting. Now what that simply means is you're going to take basically the whole clump 
of the seedlings that are in your jugs and you might break it apart into one or two smaller clumps but you could take the whole clump and actually plant it in the ground as one single unit and that will help reduce the risk of shock. For carrots, um, I grow probably almost a hundred carrots in my little jugs because I sprinkle all around the top and so instead of trying to separate each and every one of those tiny little carrots I'll just break the chunk uh, apart into some smaller groups and plant them in, a, in my garden bed in an area where they can grow and push away from each other and that reduces transplant shock. The one thing I will stress about carrots if you're looking for perfectly straight carrots don't use the winter sowing method because when you transplant it does mess with the roots and so the carrots won't be perfectly straight but they are still perfectly delicious so uh, sunflowers same thing uh, when you go to transplant them uh, you got to make sure that the soil is moistened and that you take as much of the root ball uh, intact as possible when you transplant because sunflowers need that root ball to hold them up straight. Um, to be honest, I grew Mongolian giant sunflowers this way, which get 14 foot tall with about a two to three inch diameter head on them. And they transplanted fine. If I could find that picture of my Mongolian giant, I will insert it here. Um, but yeah, it grew up to 14 foot tall just fine. Um, around here, I generally have to tie up my sunflowers because we get really bad westerly winds and they get blown over anyways. But my smaller sunflowers, when I transplant them, they stay upright and grow and flourish just fine. So uh, sunflowers can be transplanted. So I hope that answers your question. From experience, I've transplanted everything and it grows just fine. So go ahead and get out there and just put some seeds in some jugs and get going. Right now I have uh, about 18 jugs out. I'm a little behind because I haven't been feeling well, so I'm racing to, to catch up. But get out there, get your seeds planted, and just trust the process. And if you need any more information, don't be afraid to comment below with your questions or email me. My email is listed on my channel page. So I hope this answers your question. If it did, give it a thumbs up and share it with other people who might be asking the same thing. I hope that you enjoyed watching this journey as I continue with gardening and tutorials and everything. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel so you can stay updated with new information that I'm trying to post on a regular basis for you guys. And as always, I hope that wherever you are, you are wonderfully blessed. So until next time, everybody, bye-bye.